What is up guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to open your Sky Plus HD box and this is model number DRX890WLC and I think this is the 500 gigabyte model or 1 terabyte and this one also has wireless as well um, so if you have like a one of these boxes laying around and you don't know what to do with it um, Chances are there's a hard drive in it that's that will be useful for something um, as a backup hard drive or maybe a hard drive for your consoles. So the first thing you want to do is flip it backwards. I've already took some of these screws out before and but there's like one here. Obviously you, you uh, void the warranty once you open this because of this sky sticker. So yeah, there's one here, same on the other side, two at the back, one there, one next to the Ethernet port, or Ethernet port, sorry, HDMI, there's one there. So just, yeah, take your time and take these screws out. The tools that you need to open this, it's a Phillips um, screwdriver some pliers, um, a flathead, and a knife. That's pretty much all you need. If some models are different, they're more difficult to get into, but Sky have made this deliberately hard to get into so you don't, um, you know, you don't like take the hard drive out or you don't mess around with the components. But we're gonna go ahead and open this. There are clips on the side as well. You need to lift open. And there's a, a flap here for your Sky card. So you can already remove this, just like that. Put that to the side, make sure all the screws are off. There's also a hidden screw under there. So first step is obviously these two these two here and then this one and then make sure you get the backs off and then you want to slide these off and this is coming off easy because I've kind of semi opened this they slide off This one's not so easy now. If it's hard to get off, then just poke your knife in there. I found it easy just to pop this open and then it kind of just slides off there's like it clips on here as you see so just be careful that not to rip apart the plastic put them to a side now you see the fan for the unit exposed now which you can actually take that off and use that for something else if you wanted to this side is just um, nothing really now you want to get this outer case off here don't worry too much about the front yet. Just make sure you use your knife or flathead and just kind of lift that up. And lift this up as well. This is like kind of latched on together. Super hard to get off for some reason. The knife does the trick of popping it open.
right now just inspect it there's like clips here that you need to twist with your pliers I'm gonna try to zoom in here I don't know if you can see, you can't really see this clearly, but literally right right there. You need to just twist untwist these. I've already done it here, but they're normally like twisted. You just need to twist them back. And that gives like a little opening same on this side here right there there's two there so make sure you untwist untwist them and then I'm pretty sure you need to take off where all the connectors are at the front so these are the buttons here use your flathead probably be easier just un unplug these which is kind of hard to do well I cannot get that off Try upside down. Oh, they are on solid. Okay, that's one. That's one out. There we go. There's also like a metal clip here that you can just untwist. There's actually a few here. There's one there. There's another one there. Two and three. Right there. Oh, and the last one on the other side. So this should just come out and there's two plastic clips supporting it here Oops, just be careful here as well. Um, not to damage the ribbon cable here. So the front bit's off. Now we need to somehow get into this metal frame here. Be careful, you don't want to be too aggressive on this thing just in case you might damage something. But just kind of like go on each side and just work your way, just lifting it up a little bit. Okay. 
So almost in. Now I can lift this backpack up, but as you see here, the front is almost okay. You just have to slide it out. Ah, uh, I forgot about this little thing here. Which, what is this? Almost looks like it's the. I think that might be. Sorry, you can't see. This thing here is either the wireless uh, card or the RAM. I'm not too sure. But I didn't lift that up, so. All right, that's the, the top panel off. And here's the inside of the Sky Plus HD box. I think the hard drive is right here. So what's that? That's the back. Pretty sure the hard drive's there, which is a 2.5 inch hard drive. Because I can see it's a SATA drive, I think. And this is what we need to get into. Now, I think I'm going to have to take off this, this front board here, which looks to be the, that the motherboard of the unit, I'm not too sure there's a heat sink there, so the chip, the CPU chips, probably under there. So we need somehow get under this. This screw there. There's one. I can only see one screw and obviously make sure you've took off all the screws at the back. Okay from further examination I noticed that I think I think this these two boards are interlinked together so you probably have to take this out as one these two and then there's also screws at the back here that support in the, the hard drive in place so we want to take these out Seems like it's almost coming out, but there still is something stopping it. I guess we'll try to undo the, the connector here. Okay, power's off, well, the power's taken out, and the SATA cable still, we still need to get this off somehow I noticed here as well these coaxial cable inputs you want to um, unscrew these I managed to take out the top board here. I didn't notice, but here you can actually, it's like 
secured in by these pins here. So you kind of just need to press into them and slowly lift it up as well as I took out the um, the fan on the side here that was just screwed on and as well as the little um, screws for the VGA cable. And I disconnected the cables here connecting to the other board. So that should just lift off. And there we go, I was wrong, I thought it was a 2.5 inch but it's actually a 3.5 inch hard drive. And here you can see the other board here. I guess this is the, uh, there's some more connectors down here with the SCART and the power source. So next up you want to unscrew the two screws on the side here and then this should just pop out. Right, I noticed that to get these screws out, you're gonna to need to have a kind of like a right angle screw, a screwdriver that can change to a right angle because this is the, the smallest one I've got and it just doesn't fit. But then I noticed here there was a screw there, so I took that out and then some more, some more of these uh, metal supports. So just going to twist these back. Hopefully this should just pop out. Okay. There we go. This is a Seagate hard drive. A 500 gigabyte. Let's uh, zoom in on that. So yeah, about half an hour work of trying to get into this just for this hard drive. Like I said, they don't make this easy for you to um, get into and just be very careful because all of it's metal and you don't want to like, you know, injure yourself while doing it. Um, yeah, so now all I need to do is just take off this metal plate here. Which, I don't know, this one seems to be like permanently glued on or something. Now, I don't know how to get this bit off here. Oh, okay. So it was actually glued on. I wasn't kidding about that, that's weird. So you just lift it up and there we go, there's your hard drive. So this video here, you know, if you want to upgrade your Sky HD box, it's going to be a bitch to put back in. Or if you just want to have the hard drive, this is how you do it. Um, not all of these Sky HD boxes are the same, so just kind of loosely follow this if it's not exactly the same um, model number as this one, but they should be near enough, like similar. So, yeah, there you go, guys. I hope this video has helped you out, and I'll see you again in another tutorial.